snap is back. The ball is now blocked. It's blocked and recovered by Fordham. The game is over. Takes, drops back with time, evades the rush, runs up the near side, looks. He's going to throw it deep in for a shot on court. Touchdown. Wetzel Jones split to the left, Ajala to the right. He gets the snap, he drops, he's looking over the middle of the field, throws it deep for Ajala, back in the end zone! He is in for the touchdown with one foot! Armando gets the ball and boots it away, and this is a high spiraling tip in the air ball that falls down to Wetzel at the 19. Rushes up the middle, he's got a lot of room across the 35. Gets by the kicker now, up the far sideline. Goes down to the 20. He's going to outrun everybody into the end zone for the score. 2013 was a season of firsts for Fordham football. The first win over a top 10 team at Jack Coffee Field. The first win over an FBS opponent. The first team with more than 250-point outbursts in a single season. They have five the first 10-0 start in program history, and the first top five ranking in school history, the first at-large bid in the NCAA-FCS playoff era, the first home playoff win at Jack Coffey Field, and a school record 12 wins. In 2013, the Fordham Rams truly defined the moment. Some of the 2013 season's top highlights in the Patriot League would occur in the opener, Fordham in Rhode Island. Down the right side for Ajala, caught, touchdown! Niebrick takes, he gives, this is Coons, counter to the right side, 50, 45, 40, he's got one man to beat to the 20, 15, 10, he's knocked out of bounds at the three yard line. Benson takes the snap on second and one, throws deep over the middle, it's intercepted at the 40 yard line, working across midfield, into the 40 to the 35 30 gets around another tackle moving inside the 10 to the 5 Bowers for the score when number eight villanova visited jack coffee field the rams looked to catapult into the national spotlight revenge a particularly devastating loss from the prior season run up the middle he moves to the right side he dives for the end zone and in for the score touchdown fordham Long end over end kick. Abdor Rockman picks it up at the one, across the 10 to the 15 20, cuts in between the hashes. Ball's loose at the 27, and Fordham's on it. Two receivers wide left, one to the right, play action, back to throw. Slings it over the middle and completes it, but it's dropped over the middle of the field and picked up by DeFusco. It's a fumble and it's Rams ball. Four receiver set. Watch for a run play, perhaps four down front for Fordham. Second and four from the 30-yard line, man in motion. Abdur Rockman takes it right up the middle. He runs, breaks it free, loses the ball, and Fordham is on it. With the Fordham defense forcing a remarkable three fourth-quarter fumbles, the Rams secured an early signature win over a perennial top 25 opponent. The Temple Owls were next up at the link. Niebrick. Checks the sideline, takes, drops back with time, evades the rush, runs up the near side, looks, he's going to throw it deep, in for Ajala, caught, touchdown! Four seconds left, Ajala over his head for the score! From Sports Center top 10 to dead spin, the Niebuhr Ajala touchdown catch became an instant Fordham classic. Crushing rival Columbia in the annual Liberty Cup and adding a fourth quarter comeback at St. Francis. Fordham had a five-game winning streak, leading into a nationally televised home game with 10th-ranked Lehigh. Here's a deep throw for Ajala at the 30, makes the catch inside the 10 and inside the end zone. Touchdown, Fordham! 
snap goes back, and Pavlik with a high spiraling punt. Down to about the 21. Harris drops the football, and it's dumped on by Fordham at the 15. Bialkowski takes the waist high snap and looks. He's under pressure now, and he's sacked at the 19-yard line. A big-time loss, and Jake Rodriguez with his second sack of the season. The offensive explosion against the Patriot League favorite Mountain Hawks gave the Rams a sixth consecutive victory and a third 50-point scoring effort of the year. Traveling to Georgetown and Yale the following weeks, the Rams handled the Hoyas and Bulldogs with relative ease, with offensive records falling in both games. A fourth quarter comeback in the Ram Crusader Cup win over Holy Cross meant a 9-0 record entering week 10. Clearly the player of the game to come in in this situation gets blown off the football. Could it be a fumble? It may be. Bucknell says it is. Oh, it could be disaster. Referees still working through. Bucknell has the football. And they're going to have to get back to the line of scrimmage. Clock to eight. Wesley under center. Still waiting. Three seconds. And now he spikes the football. Was it a fumble? It was. Unbelievable. He never had the football in his hands. That's what they're saying. And now they're saying it was an incomplete pass. Joe Moorhead is all the way on the hash mark. He can't believe it. The snap is back. The ball is now blocked. It's blocked and recovered by Fordham. The game is over. The most unbelievable finish has occurred in Jack Coffey. Fordham wins 23-21. Another last second win for the Rams in front of another sold out standing room only crowd at Jack Coffey Field. The winningest football team in New York was a perfect 10. Falling on the road to Lafayette ended the perfect season but the team rebounded to route defending Patriot League champion Colgate before being selected to host an NCAA FCS playoff game against Sacred Heart. He gets the ball and hands off. Run to the right side. Ball's loose on the field. It's picked up by Fordham. Spence loses the football at the 29. Next to Noel in the shotgun. Wing to the left, double top, double receiver right, getting the ball. He watches it deep up the right side. It's intercepted. Running it back at the 35, Jordan Chapman across midfield. He's got blockers across the 35. It goes out of bounds. 6.20 to go fourth quarter. Pioneers with the ball trailing by seven. Noel, the redshirt freshman, play action, dropping back with time. Watches it deep up the near side. LeVon Williams picks it off at the 30. Seated ninth in the final national poll and facing the eventual national runner-up Towson Tigers in the round of 16, the Rams would enter the locker room at the half, tied with the fifth-seeded team in the playoffs. The second half would feature an early run from the Tigers, one from which Fordham couldn't recover, and the end of Fordham's finest season. For those who are more numbers-oriented, this may help. Four players earned All-American status. One more was named Academic All-American. 12 wins are a modern Fordham football record. 18 players made the All-Patriot League team. And Fordham's defense ranked first in the nation in turnovers created. Fordham was the first team in NCAA Division I history with a 4,000-yard passer, a 1,000-yard rusher, and three 1,000-yard receivers. But this is hardly a tale of numbers. It's one of personal and team redemption. Whether it's Michael Niebrich's return from an ACL tear to prove himself as a Division I starting quarterback, or Sam Ajala and Stephen Hodges' rise from the bench a year ago to All-American status, or the stories of transfers like Carlton Kuntz and Tabucky Jones, or those of the coaches and players that spent the hours necessary to turn the program around. Maybe it was all the games played by the likes of Joe Sullivan, Stephen Tapia, or Jake Rodriguez that were necessary to realize the potential of this season. Asked to find the extra degree to reach the boiling point, the team reached unprecedented heights. Given a chance to define their destiny, create their own legacy, they didn't shy away, they defined the moment.